Hi, this is Leanna from Mr. Day's Period 5 class. Okay, so here we are in a skate park simulation on the Earth's gravitational field. And over here we have a bar graph representing the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy when following um, his motion. So when he's at the bottom of the skate track, his kinetic energy should be at its highest because kinetic energy is directly correlated with the your velocity. So at his highest velocity he's going to have the greatest amount of kinetic energy. And potential energy, if you look at when he's at the top of the track, um, it doesn't matter what direction he's going in, either side at the greatest height of the track, he's going to have the greatest potential energy because his velocity is the slowest. Alright, so in that case, I made a mistake. It should not be his velocity, it should be his speed because speed does not take into account direction. So um, what matters is his speed and then at the greatest speed you'll have the greatest amount of potential energy. I mean, sorry, the slowest speed you'll have the greatest amount of gravitational potential energy. And what will happen if we switch gravity fields? Well, we'll find out. Let's go to Jupiter with a huge gravitational field. Well, larger than Earth anyway. So we jumped in energy. The bar graph, it was more like close to here before for Earth. Like, see, we'll look again. Did, um, Okay, yeah, okay, so it's a lot smaller. And it's smaller because the gravitational field on Earth is not as strong as Jupiter's. And let's try the moons. Woo! Alright. I'm not sure why that happened. <laughs> so I've just discussed with my classmate that he probably flew off, flew off the edge of the track because I switched from a very heavy... Um, gravitational field to the moon's gravitational field, which is a lot lighter than Jupiter's. So there wasn't enough gravitational strength to hold him on the track. And one last thing I forgot to mention is the thermal energy. And nowhere when the skater is moving do we see any change in the thermal energy. And that's because in this simulation, the simulation is making it so that it's a closed system. So there's no energy leaking out of the system, which would actually happen in real life. So this is totally unrealistic. Anyway, thanks for watching.